Angela, open up in there. Oh, my God! Angela? Angela, wake up! What the... Griffin? Angela, what the hell are you doing trying to kill yourself? Oh, why the hell did you pull me out of there? You should have just left me alone. That's how I'm gonna end up anyway. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that I have nothing to live for. Sure you do. Someday a white man's gonna be elected president again. Griffin, I haven't been with anyone in ten years. And when you spurned my advances, it was a wake-up call. No one's ever gonna love me again. Wait a minute. So that's why you've been acting like such a wacky ass around me? It's been so long since I've been with a man, I don't even remember what it feels like. I always imagined it felt very painful. You just sort of grit your teeth and let us do what we want. I just wish one person was able to find me attractive. But that's not too much to ask, is it? Uh, no. Look, Angela, I came over here to punch you and maybe kick you in the boob. But now I'm all turned around. Angela? Angela? Right here. Oh, but now all I want to do is help you out. I'll tell you what, you know that ritzy upscale place over on 3rd? The Stuffy Fella? That's it. You'll be at the Stuffy Fella tonight around 9. I think I know someone who might be perfect for you. Mm, well, hello. Good evening, sir. I am Reginald New York Knickerbocker, millionaire. Are you serving fish this evening? No, sir. Then I believe my guest has arrived. There she is. You must be Angela. Hi. Are you Peter's friend, Reginald? Mm, indeed I am. Mm, what a beautiful shade of lipstick on those teeth. Oh, thank you, but that's just my gums bleeding from aggressive gingivitis. Mm, well... Your mouth is too sweet for your teeth to want to stay in. Oh! Yes. Well, I, I'm just going to go to the powder room and freshen up. She's eating it up? This is easier than an American finding his brother in China. Ron? Ron, where are you? Over here, Paul. Oh, good. There you are. It's pretty here. Yes, it is. What a wonderful dinner. Would you like some dessert? Did you bake a pie? Well, there is a pie. It's been baking since I met you. Mmm, gross. What? Nothing. You know, Angela, there's something I need to tell you. My doctor has given me 24 hours to live. Oh, my God. No, no, it's quite all right. Because I vowed to myself that I would spend the last night of my life in the company of the most beautiful woman in the world. And that's just what I have done. Oh, Reginald. No, no, no. This is already a perfect end to a perfect evening. Good night, my dear. Reginald, I want you to make love to me. No, oh, if only I could. But I must to a Jew to put my affairs in order. <sighs> I know what's going on here. You don't want to be with me. You're just like everybody else, so, so go then. I'm just going to stay here and kill myself. But you can't kill yourself every time somebody won't sleep with you. I won't. Just sleep with me just this once, and it'll give me everything I need. Sleep with me tonight. Save my life. Oh, that was fantastic. It was exactly what I needed. Mm, well, hopefully there'll be no more talk of suicide. Oh, no. I feel better than I've felt in years. I have my confidence again. I'm ready to go back out there and meet someone. Well, I'm glad to be of service. Oh, just one more thing before you go. What's that, my dear? See you at work on Monday, Griffin. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna have to have a word with Rite Aid about this fake mustache. Well, I got my job back, Angela's happy again, and she's not gonna harass me anymore. Everything worked out perfect. Not really, Peter. Yeah, you cheated on your wife. No, I didn't. I used Mort. Oh, my God, I forgot about Mort. I want my two dollars!